all right now let's just start with building the srma max model okay so how can we import first we need to import that so from stats models dot tsa dot ts space or maybe it should be stat space dot s r e max import s r e m a max okay now this is done next thing which we need to if you if you observe there was one more variable which we had created if you remember that that was diff 12 right now is the time when we need to use this particular one again we we are going to find the acf and pcf so that it will give us the value for this uh, 12 difference and then we will start with it okay now for we need, first we need to find the value for pd and q okay now let's just do that the value for pdq so first thing which we need to do is find the plot pscf and in that the data which we need to supply is this and into this we are just going to use this particular variable over here say drop na and lag equals to lags equals to 20 let's just see all right in this let me just do this okay so here we don't have anything going significant right Go, going in um, significant area so what we can do is for s arima we can keep the value for pdq same as we keep uh, we took it for you know arima model right and here seasonality we can provide for 12 months let's start with this let's do that s arima s arimax and here i will just say train data train and then here we need to provide train passengers okay let me just copy it from here itself whatever we had fitted i'll just take it from here only and i'll just put right over here just to save the time and we will call it as arima here it takes one more parameter and that is called I'm sorry here there is one mistake instead of s arima we need to take s arimax okay this is what we need to take over here now if you see the parameters which it is taking is along with order it is it also require the seasonal order right so let's just apply that as well over here so in seasonal order these three things it comes pdq in seasonal order it takes pdq and over here it takes the seasonal number okay so we have 12 month seasonality so that's what i'm going to put over here okay now this is done it's not giving any error now let's just fit the model model underscore fit and over here we say model dot fit and now the time comes when we have to make the prediction and for that again uh, what i'll do is i'll copy paste the things oops sorry let me just copy paste it so that it will save time okay now this is done next in the data frame itself we will put this particular value and i would say 12 months 12 months difference diff 12 months or let's call as array max spread okay that was array max spread and this is as array max spread okay this is done let's just have a look at the data p dot tell because that's where you're gonna get the actual view right now here is what we have this looks little better right now let's just try to plot this so plot the to plot this again i'm going to do the same thing i would say air p dot drop na 
this will drop the data sns dot line plot and inside that data equals to air p and from here i will just take passengers or maybe if i can do a copy paste or let it be just passengers okay and over here i can use air p dot index next on the y-axis i'm going to plot this as arimax now how is that going to look like is is it giving some error yes uh, uh, uh. what is the error that we have could not interpret value as arimax spread why it is not able to interpret that as arimax spread no, it still says there is some problem okay so here i don't have to keep it specific okay i got the error right so this is our srmx output looks pretty well because it also shows the seasonality now here instead of this i need to use passengers and if you see over here this is looking following the pattern this looks like following the pattern now let's find the error over here here we already have the function and let's just do this over here and i will put this particular variable over here okay again got the error is not defined okay i have to use prediction So here we are getting error is 27 so which is pretty well compared to the previous one now this is done with uh, as arima seasonal arima model which looks pretty well next thing we need to find this thing for future data right how can we interpret this for future data which we have not seen which is not available before we move forward to predict it for the future let me have a look over here here looks like i made a mistake here i should idly use the 12 month differencing variable this variable right i used a wrong variable over here to find the pacf and so still we are not getting a bad uh, result right so if you see over here here we have one and two both of these two are exceeding and then tenth one two and tenth so if we can uh, you know use combination of both of these two so this is for p value and uh, the for q we can find for q what we can do is let's make it acf okay all right so this is looking pretty well right so here what we can do is 0 1 2 3 4 we can use all this combination to you know um, train our model in sri max okay so let's just start with here i will uh, uh, for p i will take 2 and for uh, d it will of course be 1 and <clears throat> for q also i would try with 2 let's try 2 1 2 okay now let's just see how the data looks like it's taking some time to train the model done then let's just see it barely puts any difference so we are good with that or maybe uh, if you are thinking if you we can try d equals to 12 and let's see what happens is there a change in the model Ooh, this is terrific right so it could it can never be 12 right so it will be one let's keep that to one and then over here we can try this now let's try to combine the arima pred as well right let's try and combine arima pred i think this should no not arimax arima pred all right so you see over here this arima pred is looking uh, arima pred is right over here and this is how it is looking like right now now to do the prediction for future 
first thing which we require is to have the future dates the data frame which we have that has the data for which we have already done the prediction now to do this for future let's generate the data for future dates okay so before that let's just have a look at the last date in our data so in our data this is our data and i will say tell into this the last month which we have is december 1960 so we need to generate the date after december 1960 how do you generate the date for future so for that in pandas you have one function that is called pd dot date range so you can use this how can we do that pd dot date range let's call it pd dot date range and into this you need to put the start date and end date start will be let's say we will just copy this and paste it so that it will be quick okay let's just take this and in this we will just change our values so our values should be starting from 196 january 1961 let's make it i will just try to copy this if i can yes i can do this and let's just put it over here let's just make it 01 1 1961 okay now i will make it for 24 month okay let's just try for 24 month and here let's make it 12 and this is 3 let's just keep it till december okay now at the end you if you don't uh, give the next parameter which you need to give is frequency if you don't give frequency then it is going to give you the daily dates okay but we require the monthly one so for frequency in uh, here you have one uh, frequency key which is called ms that is month start frequency okay because we have the starting date of each of the month so here i am going to say ms now let's just see how does it looks like okay we got it now let's just try to convert it to pandas data frame pt data frame and here we go here we got it now let's just make it let's call it dates okay column name oops sorry i need to say columns and over here let's call it dates now we got this next thing which we need to do is i will just set it as index okay to make it uh, simple okay first let's put it inside a data frame which is future date let's call it this future date and then i would say dot set index set index inside that the variable which i want to set as index is this and in place equals to true now let's just see how does it looks like future date dot head all right so we are done with this now let's try to do the prediction on this okay so for prediction we have our model created dot predict and uh, in this we need to provide the start which will be start equals to we can say future date dot index and the zeroth value that is the start date and then for end we gonna say negative 1 and it says invalid syntax here is the problem now here we got our values predicted okay this is the predicted value uh, let's try to plot this dot plot all right so this is how it looks like now what i'll do is i'll store this value okay let me take this from here and here we already have this created just along with this i am trying to put this how does it looks like all right so here we got that so you see the red line okay if it is not looking pretty clear so let me change the color color equals to black and now let's run this so you see 
this is absolutely in sync right this is absolutely in sync till here our data our actual data ends this orange line which you see that is the prediction on test data and this is the prediction on future so this is how you can play around with the models you can uh, try different values for pdq while training the model and you can have a very good model all right so this is it in this video moving forward we will try to build the model on you know transform data the data which we transform to make it stationary we will try to use that and make the model on top of that let me know in case of any confusion try to put that into the comment section and then we will see it further